I take you guys ready. I'm fucking tired, you know, and I'm just ready. I'm really fucking pissed. All right, I, the way I see it, I, I'm I'm thinking to myself. I'm a vi I'm a fan of video games, no question about it. I love video games. Would I ever think about buying a Xbox One, a PS4, or or a Wii U? I wouldn't even. I wouldn't. I never even took a second thought about it. Is that me? Is it me? Or, uh, or is it the video game companies? Is it me being an asshole? Or is it the video game companies dropping the ball and not appealing to a, my demographic? Which is like, you know, first generation gamers. I don't even know how to explain it. First generation gamers? It just seems like 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 video game companies in general or console companies are ignoring, you know, the old school gamers. I feel slighted. <laughs> this is a fucking boring as hell rant. What can we talk about? I tell you what, I put I put a, I put an old school gamer up against a next generation gamer any day of the week. Give me any anybody over thirty. For Christ's sake. I, uh, my my girlfriend's son. I gave him. Uh, we we he put Metroid. He started playing Metroid the other day. Put it down. Put put it down in like five minutes. This game sucks. This game sucks. This is one of the most classic games of all time, motherfucker. Because he wasn't good at it. No, you suck. That's the biggest cop out of all. When somebody's not good at a game, uh, these fucking young kids, when they're not good at a game, it sucks. No, you suck. That's the bottom fucking line. Jesus Christ. And then what were we playing the other day? Oh. I was playing Image Fight, and uh, he comes through the door, and he gives a couple cracks at it. He d dies miserably. This game sucks. No, this game doesn't suck. You suck. <sighs> Fucking pisses me off. I got news for you. You know, a lot of us guys are now, we're... I I've watched the, n the next generation games. All right, they're gorgeous. Don't get me wrong; the graphics are gorgeous. Uh, the stories—I hear the stories are wonderful. I wouldn't know. I don't really play them. The stories are wonderful, but when you sit down and you play one, it's so fucking boring. I gotta sit down through a fucking tutorial, and you gotta walk me through. You got—you gotta walk me through, holding my hand the whole time. Walk me through tutorial. Nobody gave me a tutorial when I was playing Double Dragon for the Sega Master System. Nobody was holding my hand. I just had a machine kicking my ass in. Yeah, so, I remember I went out to a club with my friend one time, and 
got really shit faced. And I remember driving home. It was a stupid thing. Don't don't drink and drive, you know. But I, I can remember driving home and as I'm pulling up to my house, I run over my neighbor's dog. And I mean I just I just knew by the sound of it that that the dog was dead. So I'm like, oh shit. So I, I fucking floor the gas pedal and get out of there, right? And I drive to my buddy Vs's house. And I'm knocking on his door. It's like, you know, like probably like five in the morning or something like that. I said, Yes, get out here, look at this shit. And like I got dog hair on my front bumper. Uh and I look under the car and the dog's dick is hanging from the transmission. <laughs> Okay, it's Bithead 1000 here, and it's time to get really serious. Um, you tuned into the greatest video game program in the history of human civilization. And if somebody tells you otherwise, I want you to ram your hand down their throat. <laughs> okay, come on. All right, here we go. <laughs> Woo! Let me tell you something, guys. I, I got to tell you right now. February around here is probably as, exci as exciting as rearranging your sock drawer. And, uh, well, it's probably going to be a long day around here at the Bithead 1000 compound. Uh, but let's get started. Basically, we have no show for you today, so I don't even know what you're doing here. You should be, like, tuning out and watching videos of women doing yoga. Because that's one of my favorite pastimes. It's either that or watching videos of women doing the Olympic pole vault. Did you see that one? It's amazing what some of the perverts upload onto this fucking YouTube. Uh, <clears throat> and it's amazing how I find these videos. Uh, but anyway, uh, we wouldn't have a show if it wasn't for three very generous YouTubers. So let's get started. Okay, so we're going to start off with this package first. It's the biggest package of the lot, and I happen to know the contents. I don't know the contents of the other two packages. This was sent to us all the way from Canada. Look at the size of this box. This is all the way from Canada. And it's from Dappy KS30. Basically, he left me a message on my inbox asking me if I wanted this item. And I left him a message back basically saying, does Michael Jackson want cameras installed in the urinals at Chuck E. Cheese? Uh, Alright, no more jokes, I promise. Alright, let's crack it open. Oh boy. Okay, I gotta be really careful with this. Look at this. Wow, we look at that in the box. Wow, look at this. It's the Commodore Vic 20 friendly home computer. I mean, look at the what a piece of not just gaming history but co computer history look at I love how the kids are playing you know kids are playing space invaders over here and then dad you know what is, what is dad doing dad's handling the the uh, the household budget down here on the, on the other side of the screen isn't that something wow the Commodore Vic 20 let's open it up okay we got a note in here Cheers, Bithead 1000. You, you are now, you are now, oh, I, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You are now set up with a VIC-20 and some games. The games are simple but fun, and you can program your own. 
I found you by chance looking on how to repair paddle controllers. After watching that video, I immediately went to your first video and started watching them all. Wow, you know, I, it's not often that I hear that, but once in a while uh, people do that. And I do that with other channels as well. Do marathon runs where, especially if I'm sick or something and I'm home in bed, I can marathon run through somebody's channel. And I really like, like to do that and see the evolution. How anybody can sit through, you know, uh, all of my videos is beyond me. This is a guy with a very strong constitution. Uh, great entertainment. Okay. You'll have to clean up the paddles yourself. Okay, this is kind of this is this is kind of stuff for me. Well, that's great. Have fun, Eric. Okay, and he says he's just north of Ryan right now, up in Canada. If you know Ryan right now, he's all the way out in Washington. So he's just north of Canada. Wow, that's fantastic. Look at this. Jesus Christ, it doesn't look much different than the Commodore 64, does it now? What a wonderful piece of equipment. Look at that. Jeez, look at this. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight games as well. Look at these games. These games are fucking huge. I would say these games are, are probably, these rival the size of a DS right here. Avenger. Choplifter. Road Race. Super Smash. Wow, these games, they sound terrific. Cosmic Cruncher. And the door's opening up. Hold on, I gotta shut this. Okay. Gorf. Gorf is a great game on the ColecoVision. It's probably the best Space Invaders clone ever made. Omega Race, another uh, ColecoVision. I say ColecoVision game. This might be before the ColecoVision, for crying out loud. And... A game actually named after members of my family. Clowns. There you go. Look at this. Paddle controllers. A joystick. And a huge power transformer. Holy shit. And the instruction manual. So, wow, Jesus Christ. Dappy KS30, I don't know what to say. Eric, let me call you Eric. This is, this is an exciting, exciting addition to the game room here. And if my capture card can actually, can actually pick this thing up, we'll definitely do a blast through. Uh, or what I like to call like a, uh, a VIC-20-101 where I like to blast through all the games and just give, give everybody an idea of what the VIC-20 is, maybe if they have never seen it before. Fantastic. Absolutely great. Thank you very much. Let's move on. I know I, I hate to rush through this, but let's move on to the next package. And something else. You want li Listen to this. You hear that? That's what a real keyboard sounds like. Take your quad core and stick it up your pancreas. All right, moving along. Okay, here's a package that I didn't tape up. All right, we'll be right back. Okay, this is where things get really exciting because your guess is as good as mine on this box. Uh, this package is from the video game shark. His name is Tyler. And I, I have the foggiest idea, so let's get right down to it. I 
I get real nervous on these unboxings. Here we go, let's read the note first. I keep all these notes, by the way. I got them all in a box. Dear Bithead 1000, just wanted to thank you for all the entertaining videos over the last few years. In this package is something that you've been looking for for a while now, and I hope you enjoy it. God bless and Merry Christmas. Tyler, the video game shark. What have we got here? Oh my god. This son of a bitch. No, this guy didn't. No, this guy didn't. Listen, I told you guys not to do this. I told you guys not to do this. But what, what, but what can I do now? What can I do now? I have to keep it. I have to keep it. Look at this guy. Tyler. Tyler. It's the TurboGrafx-16. With a controller. It's the TurboGrafx-16. It's the greatest 16-bit console of all time. And who wants to come down here and tell me otherwise? It's been a long time. For those of you that are new to the show, I know we have some new subscribers. Uh, I've been looking for the TurboGrafx-16 now. I, I had it um, many moons ago. I had it growing up and I lost it. I didn't lose it but I lost it. Some of you know the story. And uh, this whole show has been a journey about about finding this, the TurboGrafx-16. And I mean who would have thought on a January day in the freezing cold it would come right to my door. Look at this. Uh, I don't know what to say. Look at and, and Dragon Spirit. On top of it all. Great little shooter. Great little shooter. Uh, I don't know what to say, man. That that is that is something else. You really outdid yourself, and uh, I really didn't expect that. Wow, what an underrated controller too. Fantastic controller fantastic joystick what are you gonna say about it controller joystick it's the same thing all right wow uh tyler i i don't know what to say i really don't know what to say i'm speechless right now to be reunited with the turbo graphic 16 uh it's really special thank you wow uh, our next package has really got a tough act to follow. But let's get to it. <sighs> I tell you what, you guys are really blowing my mind here. Alright, this next package is not taped again. I can do it quick, don't worry. Okay. This next package is from, ironically, from a guy named G. Taylor196. G Taylor 196 and his name is Gary. That was easy. Oh, and he writes on on the envelope. Thanks for the awesome show and weekly laughs. Enjoy, Goose. Package right here. Holy cow! 
cow. Are you kidding me, man? <sighs> Look at that view. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. As you know, we do a series on the show now called the PC Engine Chronicles. And I never in a million years expected this to pop up in the mailbox. Look at this. Four PC Engine games. I don't know the name of that one. <laughs> But it's a super CD-ROM game. Awesome. That will give me the motivation to get the CD player. Uh, here's another one. Oh, let me let me explain to you what it looks like on the back here. Jeez, I don't know what to make of that. That is something else. These Japanese games are so intriguing. Um, here's another one, which looks like, uh, some so sort of puzzle game. Almost like a, a Tetris or a Dr. Mario. Very cool. Very, very cool. Wow, look at that. On CD-ROM. Neo, Neo Generation, look at the artwork. I mean, come on, if you see some of the, the Turbo Graphics, I wish I had more Turbo Graphics games to show you. Uh, the artwork on Turbo Graphics games, it's, it's, it's simply laughable. And look at that, what, a, what an interesting game this looks like. You know what's funny? All of these Japanese games, uh, all these J Japanese PC Engine games, whatever genre game they are, like say it's a it's a driving game or it's a shooter or whatever it is, you can add puzzle to it because playing any game in Japanese is like trying to figure out a puzzle too. So it'd be a driving puzzle game or a tennis, uh, you know, a, a sports puzzle game. Cause I remember I tried to to play Monster Maker. Uh, which was a Japanese uh, uh, role-playing game, and let's just put it this way, I didn't get very far. Oh my god, look at this! Look at this! Oh, wow, we! Everybody breaks my balls for saying wise, and I say, I say wise because that's what I used to say when I was a kid, so I, I don't want to, I don't want to say ease. I know it's ease, but to me, it'll always be wise, and it's wise book three. Wise book three. Oh my God, I'm I'm gonna have to get this CD player sooner, sooner than I can afford. Wow, look at that. Wise book three. What a fucking gem. <laughs> oh man. Wow. Uh. Jesus Christ, I really don't know what to say after that. Uh, uh, thank you. Dappy KS30, the video game shark, and G Taylor. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, uh, I'm sorry. G Taylor196. And, you know, everybody's link will be down below if, you, if you'd like to go to, and, and thank them for me. That would be terrific. Uh, let them know that you appreciate them supporting the show. I would really appreciate that. So here we go. Wow, what a wonderful, uh, just a, a wonderful turbocharged boost for the middle of January. I simply didn't expect that. And, you know, I'm always blown away by the generosity of of you guys out there and and the audience I think my audience is is second to none second to none they, the way you guys support the show and I, I know I don't reciprocate very much because um, I'm just 
an idiot, but I, I should re reciprocate a lot more. But uh, each and every one of you guys today have a little something special coming your way. So uh, thank you. Thanks again, guys. I really appreciate it. And we'll see you next time.